Smile, everybody. February is National Pet Dental Health Month. And so it's here to tell us a little bit more about the importance of dental care and how to properly keep our pets' mouths clean and smelling good. We welcome back Dr. Heather Lenzer from the American Animal Hospital Association. Aha. Yes, correct. Exactly. <laughs> welcome back to the show. Me. Let's introduce this handsome guy that and you this have here. And this is Calvin. He is a Border Collie rescue that I got about two years ago. And uh, I wish I could say he does other work, but right now he comes on TV and <laughs> demonstrates important health issues. Well, that's good, important work. I love that. <laughs> so, all right. So it is National Pet Dental Health Month, and you and I, as veterinarians, know it's very, very important, this dental health thing. Um, so tell our viewers why exactly that is. It's a huge deal because uh, by the time our dogs and cats are three years old, 80% of them have dental disease. Mm. And it doesn't just stay inside their mouth. Mm -hmm. The bacteria and the inflammation can actually spread throughout the body, and some people believe it can affect the heart and the kidneys. Mm -hmm. And that can take years off a pet's life. Yeah. Well, you have to think about it. You're swallowing all this muck exactly. all day, yep. every day, all that bacteria, and it's got to go into your system somewhere. Exactly. So how important is home care for people to do? It's super important. Yeah. It can be tricky to do, though. Mm -hmm. So there are, the, I want to show you how to brush the teeth today, okay. and then also I brought a whole bunch of really great treats and foods that are actually approved by the Veterinary Oral Health Council, mm -hmm. and that's a group of, of uh, scientists that have determined that these things that I have with here today mm -hmm. actually take um, tartar and plaque off the teeth, mm -hmm. sometimes almost as well as brushing. And if you go to our Pet Show Facebook page, we'll have a link up there to VOHC so that you don't have to go searching for that. We'll have that there. But you have a neat little trick that you do. I do. I do. And I have brushing that and doesn't involve a tooth brush. Exactly. So we have, um, sometimes it can be hard to get a dog used to the feeling of a toothbrush. Mm -hmm. And I have, I have one here and mm -hmm. this is great. But I also like to use um, a pantyhose. And so I want some beef flavored toothpaste. Stick it on the pantyhose. Come here, Calvin. And then you, in order to brush the teeth, you want to lift up the lip a little bit and brush right along where the teeth and the gums meet because that's where the bacteria ends up um, accumulating over time. And if you can only do one spot, do those back teeth right there because that is where these teeth that are right in this area, that's where the, sal the saliva comes out and you end up having more accumulation there. Mm -hmm. But and if this isn't working well at home, though, your veterinarian may recommend you a dent, doing a dental cleaning, mm -hmm. and those are best done under anesthesia. So a lot of people are terrified of anesthesia. It's mm -hmm. you know years ago, I think it was a lot scarier than it is now. I agree. Um, but it, it is incredibly, incredibly important to do dentals under anesthesia. It is because we're trying to get with sharp instruments underneath the teeth, underneath the gums mm -hmm. and scrape away the plaque and tartar that's accumulated there. So the American Animal Hospital Association is a group that's dedicated to veterinary excellence and they've accredited a whole host of veterinary hospitals. Mm -hmm. These AHA hospitals have, are st adhering to standards associated with dentistry and anesthesia. Mm -hmm. So on Facebook today there's actually a great article from the American Animal Hospital Association about what these standards mean for our pets when it comes to safety. Mm -hmm. and the big the biggest thing is making sure the animals are asleep, they're monitored carefully under anesthesia, and the worst thing to do is have a technician or a groomer scrape away the tartar on the mm -hmm. surface of the teeth using sharp pointy instruments. Well, not only can you damage the gums, but it also ends up damaging the surface of the teeth, scraping that and allowing right. more tartar to actually stick over time, so you've exactly. basically done yourself in for even worse dental disease down the road. Right, because you can't do that polishing part that, you know, right. this is when the dentist asks us, what, you know, what do you want, bubblegum flavor? flavor. Exactly. <laughs> and another important component yeah. is doing dental x-rays. Mm -hmm. And you know that when we sit in the chair, we sit very still, yeah. but it's almost impossible to do x-rays on a dog or cat while mm -hmm. they're awake mm -hmm. to see what's underneath. Yeah, try doing it on an eight-year-old kid, exactly. and then, you know, you'll <laughs> exactly. understand how hard it is to do on a chihuahua exactly. or even on a wonderful border collie. Mm -hmm. So, well, thank you so much. This is all wonderful information. And we'll have photos of these products. We'll have links to the AHA article as well mm -hmm. um, up on our, pet, on our Pet Show Facebook page. So thanks so much for coming. Thanks for having me. All right, everybody, stick around. We've got a lot more ahead right after the break.